Joe here for Joyrider TV, and you're watching Show Us Your Cat. Woohoo! Yes, hello, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV, back with some more Show Us Your Cat. Today, we're steaming into episode 91, and we're continuing along our theme of featured boat. Today's featured boat is going to be the Nacra 5.8. Oh yes, we knew this day was going to come, and today is that day. Anyway, Show Us Your Cat is where we take a look at your boats and where it is that you sail them. If you want to get involved with Show Us Your Cat and you want to show us your cat, then all you need to do is send me some pictures and video of your cat and your boat could be featured in an upcoming episode of Show Us Your Cat on Joyrider TV. Now that is exciting. All the information that you need is in the video description below. So just steam in there and then send it over and off we go. Also, of course, ongoing, we've got the speed stick and the action is now really hotting up in the 2021 speed stick. Especially if you happen to be in Australia, then get involved, take a GPS out sailing with you, send me your top speed of the session and I'll get it on the speed stick. Now that is an exciting prospect, I can tell you. I'm coming to you from Vasiliki on the Greek island of Lefkos where Wild Wind Sailing Holidays is based. We're just revving up for the new season where we are promised champagne sailing conditions most days of the week. That is on the cards. There we are. Yeah, so I think let's steam into it and take a look at some NACRA 5.8s on this week's Show Us Your Cat. So in case you didn't know, NACRA is actually an acronym. It stands for North American Catamaran Racing Association. The 5.8 was originally released in 1984 with a length of 19 feet, 2.44 meters wide, so a bit narrower than an F-18, but a bit longer, uh, with a weight of 176 kilograms, which is four kilograms lighter than an F-18. And then the all-up sail area, we've just got a main and jib on the 5.8, and that measures in at 22.4 square metres. And the jib is of a pretty juicy size, so that is really going to pull like a pack of horses on the reaches. Big speeds available. The jib actually comes down to a bar which runs between the bows, which actually means we can get the tack of the jib lower down, which gives the boat more drive and less healing. The 5.8 is still produced in Australia and has been the most popular of the bigger beach cats for the past 20 years down there. The high volume hulls, deep dagger boards, no boom, no spinnaker makes this an excellent choice for a less complex, high-performance boat that still delivers some sparkling performance. So let's take a look at some 5.8s. So we're all in Australia this week, and firstly, we're heading to Adelaide, to the Goolwa Regatta Yacht Club in Victor Harbour, where we have Kai. Kai has got a 2004 NACRA 5.8. That is the more modern version of the 5.8, which features the square top sail. Kai says, as he's only 16 years old, he is growing so fast and he's already six foot six and quite heavy. So he was sailing a Hobie 16, but he was just getting way too heavy for the 16. So he made the switch to the NACRA 5.8. Kai's 5.8 is called Makani, which is actually his sponsor. He's now been sponsored for about two months. Kai sails with his 21-year-old mate, who's Tristan. He was one of the first people 
who taught Kai to sail and welcomed Kai into the sailing community. And now he's actually crewing for Kai. So it's gone full circle there. Nice. The pictures here were done by Down Under Sail. There was an event in Adelaide sponsored by Harkin. They were the, the event's biggest sponsor, which is why the picture has the Harkin watermark on there. I'm sure in the future, Kai will be picking up some sweet Harkin sponsorship, but at the moment, it was just for the event. Kai says, I'm a very competitive person like my crew. We enjoy making the boat faster and usually find ourselves at the front of the fleet. Oh yes, that's the right place to be. Tristan and I do enjoy long distance races, but around the boys are mainly what we usually are successful in. We only recently did one race during the Goulois to Meningi. It's a 70 kilometer race that, they, that we managed to do in under three hours. The wind was blowing up to 25 knots. So that was absolutely cooking. But I think you'll agree that Kai's 5.8 looks absolutely fantastic. And Kai is sailing it with the correct degree of style and finesse. So thanks very much, Kai, for sending us those pictures of your 5.8. We hope you have a continued successful racing season and more great things to come if you're only 16 and you're already smashing it. Who knows where this may lead in the future. Next, we're taking a small road trip across to Western Australia, just south of Perth to Busselton. We have Geography Bay Yacht Club, where we have got Chris. You're not going to believe it, but Chris has got a 2008 NACRA 5.8. This one is called CK Sunrise. The boat is in great condition. Chris purchased it just seven months ago at the start of when sailing stopped for the winter. Chris sails with his girlfriend, Kirsty and they're lucky enough to be blessed with champagne conditions for about nine months of the year with hot days and warm water. The winds during the sailing season average around 15 knots, but occasionally as much as 30 knots. Western Australia, of course, is famous for having some pretty good breeze there. I believe that's the southeasterly trade winds. Very nice indeed. Chris says, I do feel a bit wussy after seeing some of the winter sailing on Show Us Your Cat from the Northern Hemisphere, as our winter is actually pretty mild, but it's pretty easy to become a fair weather sailor. I can tell you that from Greece. So neither Chris or Kirsty had sailed a cat before buying the 5.8. He says he watched about three months worth of Joyrider TV to try to learn everything before heading out the first time. And that turned out to be a great move. And in just a few sails, they were able to start racing, surviving on the course with an increasing amount of success every time the guys are going out there. Chris says jumping straight into the 5.8 was straight in the deep end, but it has paid off as it's a really fast boat to sail. We now race most Saturdays and are steadily improving and having so much fun in the process. I especially like to give it the beans. Oh yes. Kirsty does like the lighter wind days and some relaxing sailing. The Geography Bay Yacht Club has been a great place to sail and everyone has been extremely helpful and inviting. Chris would like to give a special mention to Cam Waters, who gave a lot of his time helping setting up the boat 
the first time and just being supportive all the way through the learning process. The club is extremely competitive, but has great camaraderie, which is of course a great combination. Now here in the video, the conditions have been good. So Chris and Kirsty took out their combined four kids, Campbell, Boston, Riley and Bo. They absolutely loved it. And we can already see on the cards in a few years, they're gonna to have to actually have their personal fleet of catamarans to keep all the kids on the water as well. Now here's Chris and Kirsty on the race course. It's a very good and varied fleet, which makes for some very interesting racing. The fleet is mixed with NACRA 5.8s, F-18s and wind rushes. There's also a large fleet of Sharpies and Pelican monohulls, which makes for very interesting racing, dodging them around the course. On, Aus on the Australia Day regatta, they actually had 14 cats out on the water, which is absolutely fantastic for some club racing. And there's a pretty interesting capsize there, sticking the nose in, managing to save the pitch pole, but ending up going over sideways. This was only actually their third race that they'd competed in. The conditions were meant to be up to about 12 knots, but the gusts were coming through at 28 knots, which was a little bit more than the guys are expecting. Chris says they definitely put her down the mine shaft a couple of times and it did feel a bit more like survival conditions. Now I would say if you are feeling a bit up against it and overpowered all of the time, try a bit more downhaul. In fact, max that bad boy out, get as much downhaul on as possible. You could drop the traveler down a bit as well, as much as about a foot going upwind and that will allow you to tighten the main sheet more, which will give you a flatter sail. And if you are sailing upwind with the dagger boards all the way down and you're feeling very overpowered, just try lifting the dagger boards about a quarter and that will really take the edge off nicely. So thanks very much, Chris and Kirsty, for sending us those pictures and video of your absolutely fantastic looking 5.8 and what an amazing place to go sailing. So there we go, what an absolute treat to be taking a look at the NACRA 5.8 this week. To be honest, I knew nothing about the 5.8 before starting doing Show Us Your Cat. So it's really been an education for me as well. And thanks to everybody who's been getting involved with Show Us Your Cat. It is you guys who have made this series as great as it is and have made the series continue up to episode 91. So if you haven't yet showed us your cat, do get involved. That would be absolutely great. Either way, please hit the like button. That means more people will get to see this video. And thanks very much to everybody who's been supporting the channel through Patreon or from heading to totaljoyrider.com and picking up a fresh t-shirt or a hoodie. Or if you want to get hold of a hat like this, I have different colors as well. Just send me an email and I can send you a hat from Greece with Greek stamps on the package. Oh yes. Well, I'll be back on Wednesday with more Q and A. If you're not able to make it, remember you can preload your questions. Otherwise, I'll be back next week with more Show Us Your Cat. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. And uh, thank you very much.